welcome to Yoga for First Responders and our healthcare workers. I'm Heather and glad to have you here with me. So today we're going to do a um, brief flow focusing on twisting through the spine. Um, twists are not only good for our spine to just keep that mobility and that movement throughout, but it's also good at stimulating all of our um, internal organs, our digestive system, and stimulating that vagus nerve that helps to engage our, our calming or our parasympathetic nervous system. So um, let's begin. Um, go ahead and find a comfortable seat on a chair or on the floor. And let's start by just taking a few breaths and a few uh, shoulder movements, I guess, together. So on your next breath in, um, let's take a breath in through the nose, lifting those shoulders up towards the ears. And on the breath out, just sigh it out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in, lifting those shoulders up. Exhaling, sigh it out through the mouth. And one more breath like that together. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Awesome. Feel free to close those eyes here for these next few moments, or you can just find a gentle gaze down at the floor. And again, bringing that awareness to the breath. We're going to try to find or engage our ujjayi breath, or our whisper breath. So the best way I've found to do that, to find that breath and to feel the breath as it moves in and out of the throat and the nose, is to start by breathing just like we were, in through the nose and out through the mouth. However, when you breathe out through the mouth, trying to create that sound like you make when you're fogging up a mirror, that sound. So let's try a few breaths like that. Again, let's in, breathe in through the nose, and then a long breath out through the mouth. Just really try to make that audible sound so you can hear your breath and even if someone else is in the room with you, they could hear yourself, you breathing as well. So a few more times like that. In through the nose. Long and slow out through the mouth. And maybe one more in through the nose. And out through the mouth. These next three breaths, we're going to try to create that same sound, but with the mouth closed. So in through the nose, and out through the nose. So try to create that same sound. Um, it's a little bit hard to find sometimes, but just try to continue to breathe like that for a few more breaths. Um, it's really using the back of the throat to help press that air out, almost slightly constricting the breath as it comes out which helps to um, keep some heat inside the body. It helps to also um, just make our breath be a little more intentional because we really have to think about it in order to breathe this way. So one more breath here in through the nose and out through the nose. Okay, then just feel free to come back to your natural breath, um, but we're gonna try to come in and out of that ujjayi breath throughout the practice. So when you feel ready, um, next breath in, go ahead and reach those arms all the way out to the sides, up towards the ceiling until the hands touch, and then exhaling down to your heart center. Again, let's take a deep breath in, begin to extend through those arms as they lift up, exhaling down to our heart. And this time as we breathe in, we're gonna reach the arms back up, and on the breath out, try turning to the side. Opening those arms, bring one hand to the knee, the other hand behind the body. Just beginning to find some gentle twists. You can inhale the arms back up through center and then exhaling to the opposite side. Inhaling as you reach the arms back up. Let's go two times each side. Exhaling as we lower the hands to the floor, to the knee. Inhaling as we lift tall through the crown of the head. Exhaling, try to stay lifted as you twist. Once more each direction. Inhaling as you lift. Exhaling to the side. And inhaling one last time. Exhaling, looking over that back shoulder. And then inhaling, go ahead and bring those arms back up to center and exhaling them down to our heart. Okay, uncrossing those legs. Let's bring those feet to the floor out in front. Um, hands can just rest lightly on the front of those knees and let's move through a few of our seated cat and cows. So on our next breath in, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, taking a big shoulder roll down the back. Maybe slightly turn that gaze up as you really try to reach the chest forward towards those knees and lifting them up high. And then on the 
exhale, reversing direction as we round through the back, draw the belly in, the chin comes closer to the chest. And then just moving with your breath, inhaling as you lean forward and up, exhaling as you come back and down. Inhaling as you reach and lift, draw those shoulders down and back. Exhale, slightly tuck in the hips as you draw in through that belly. Two more times in each direction or two more breaths if you are holding. And then slowly making your way back to that neutral spine. Go ahead and have or come all the way up onto those feet. Just making your way up to standing. So as you do so, as you come up to um, the front of your space, the front of your mat, finding a nice solid base with those feet. So the feet can be all the way together or they can be hip width apart, but just really grounding down into those feet until you feel steady and stable. So on the mat, the ground underneath supporting you and try to continue that connection or keep that connection with the feet and the ground as we just let these arms relax and we're going to begin to just sway side to side or twist side to side. And as those arms um, lower or move side to side, they might connect with the opposite leg each time you go to the side. And just a few times as we go back and forth. Maybe make those movements a little deeper, allow those arms to just swing out to the sides. But continue to stay grounded through those feet as they stay connected with the mat underneath you. And then slowly you can make your way back to center just as those arms start to wind down. So come back to center. Let's take a big shoulder roll down the back, extending through those arms. And then inhale as we reach the arms all the way up. Exhaling our hands back to our heart center. And again, inhale, deep breath in. Let's bring those hands together at the top. And again, we'll inhale as we lift. Exhale, reaching up and over to one side. Find a nice side stretch. Inhaling as we lift back up to center, exhale into the opposite side, opening those muscles that really help us breathe. Inhaling as we lift, on the exhale, releasing those hands, bending the knees and folding over those legs, finding that first forward fold. Nice deep breath in, let's lift halfway up. So bringing those hands to those legs if you'd like, drawing the shoulders down the back, nice long spine and strong through the core. Try to lift the belly away from the floor. Exhale, and as we fold back over those legs, go ahead and step both feet back to your downward dog as you lift the hips back and up. And then inhale and forward to your plank. Both knees come to the mat. Exhale, and elbows bend as we lower all the way to the chest and the belly. Nice deep breath in as we lift through the shoulders, lifting the shoulders and the chest. Exhale, and as we lower down. Now as we inhale, we're going to lift back up to our knees, tucking our toes, and just reach those hips back towards those heels. Pause in here for three breaths in this extended child's pose to really lengthen through the spine and through the sides of the torso. And then try to find that Ujjayi breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. Try to create that sound, slowing the breath down. Okay, that next breath in, we're going to keep these arms extended, the hips reaching back, and try to maintain that length in the spine and those arms as you slowly begin to just lift the hips up, finding your downward dog once again. Turning that gaze forward in between those hands, and go ahead and step or hop your feet to the front of your mat. Nice deep breath in as we lift halfway. Again, just reach forward through the crown of the head, try to find a nice long spine. Exhale and forward fold. Deep bend into those knees and slowly making your way up to standing as you bring those arms with you. Exhaling out through the mouth. Just sigh it out. Finding your breath here. Noticing just how your body is breathing. And then on that next inhale, go ahead and lift those arms back up. And exhale, forward fold, bending the knees. Stepping just that left foot to the back. Lowering down to that left knee. Let's inhale, reaching those arms all the way up. On the exhale, we're going to bring our hands through our heart center and find a gentle twist to the right, so towards that front knee. 
And then slowly coming back to center, exhaling hands by the floor. Lifting the back knee so you can step the front foot back, downward dog. Switching sides as we bend the left knee, we're going to step the left foot forward. You can always reach back and help that ankle through. Sometimes I know it gets stuck along the way. So right knee can lower to the floor. And then inhale, reaching those arms all the way up. And exhale, finding that twist as we lower our hands to our heart center and begin to turn to the left side. Deep breath in as we lift back to center. Exhaling, hands find the floor. Let's step this back foot to the front. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Again, deep bend in those knees so you use your legs rather than your back to help you lift and stand tall. Inhaling as you rise. Exhale, out through the mouth. Three breaths here. As you pause, give yourself a moment to check in. You just notice how you are breathing. And slowing down that breath out. When you feel ready to continue to move, let's inhale, arms reach back up. And exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Nice long spine. Exhaling, forward fold. Let's step our right foot to the back. Let's keep that right knee lifted off the floor and we're gonna inhale to slowly lift as you reach those arms up. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring our hands through our heart as we turn to the left. And we're gonna pause here in this twist. Some options would be to keep that right knee on the mat. You can keep your elbows lifted or to deepen the twist so you can bring your elbow to your knee. Three breaths here as we hold. This is where that Ujjayi breath really comes in handy because it's not a comfortable space, right? <laughs> we use our breath. We use this practice to uh, learn to be comfortable with some discomfort. At the end of that third breath out, go ahead and inhale back to center. Exhale, and both hands find the floor, and we're going to step this front foot to the back, lifting those hips, downward dog. Switching sides as we bend through that right knee, slowly draw that right knee forward as you step your foot to the front, helping that ankle forward as needed. Maybe we lower the left knee or you can keep it lifted, grounding down through the right heel as we slowly rise. Lifting those arms up with us, finding some length through the torso, through the spine, and then exhaling hands through our heart center as we find that twist to the right. Finding your space here, whether you're on your toes or your knee, and finding your breath. Maybe try to soften through the gaze. Softening through the tops of those shoulders but strong and engage through both legs. One more breath as you are able. And then maybe on that next inhale, we come back to center, lowering both hands to the floor, and let's just step our feet back to that downward dog. Feel free to walk out those heels a few times. Maybe shake out that head. Shaking it no, nodding it yes. And then taking a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Awesome. Okay, one more time in these twists. On our next breath in, let's lift our right leg all the way up. Just reaching it back behind you, doesn't have to be very high. And then exhaling, bending that right knee. Slowly stepping that foot to the front. This time we're going to lower down to that left knee, just like we did the first time. Uh, check out this front knee, making sure the ankle stays right above the knee. And on our inhale, let's slowly lift those arms up. But this time on the exhale, we're going to open these arms out to the side as we turn away from that front knee, so to the left side. We're reaching out in both directions, just go nice and slow. And then we're going to inhale as we lift those arms back up. Connect those fingertips at the top. 
and then exhale very slowly, opening the arms, turning to the right, so towards that front knee. Inhale as we lift back up. Connect those fingertips, and then exhale in both hands, lower to the floor. Step in this front foot to the back. Nice deep breath in as you lift the hips. Long breath out. And then inhale and forward to your plank. Lower into those knees, exhale. Lower it all the way to the chest and the belly. Just sliding those arms forward into, or until you come onto those forearms. We call the Sphinx Pose. So both hands, all those fingertips are on the floor, just resting lightly. Elbows are directly underneath those shoulders. And as you breathe in, try to lift tall through the crown of the head. As you breathe out, maybe try to lift the lower belly away from the floor. As you breathe in, try to reach the chest forward. As you breathe out, try to drop those shoulders down and back. Two more breaths here. Try to soften through those legs. And relax through the gaze. And at the end of that next breath out, go ahead and lower all the way down. We'll bring those hands back underneath those shoulders, tucking those toes and inhaling, lifting back up to those knees. Exhaling back to your extended child's pose. And then inhale, grounding down into those fingertips as we lift those hips. This time on our breath in, let's lift our left leg, reaching it back and up. And then exhaling, bending the left knee, drawing it forward so you can step that foot through or to the front of your mat. Walking those toes forward or helping that ankle through. Let's lower down to that right knee, untucking the toes. And inhale, slowly reaching those arms all the way up. On that breath out, we're gonna turn to our right. Opening those arms super slow, dropping the shoulders, sinking down into those hips. Inhaling as we lift back up. Maybe feel those fingertips connect at the top. Exhaling as you turn to the left, towards that front knee, just opening those arms. Inhaling back up to center. And exhaling, both hands lower down to the floor. This time we're going to step our back foot to the front. And we're just going to drop our hips and have a seat on our mat. Or however else you'd like to get there. Okay. So as we have a seat, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Bringing those hands just to those ankles or to those feet. And just bring your thumbs to the arches of your feet. Just gently opening the arches like you're opening a book. The edges, the outer edges of your feet are connected. A nice deep breath in, let's sit up nice and tall, lifting from the lower belly all the way up, but grounding down into those sitting bones. On the breath out, we're just gonna hinge at those hips, using the hands on the legs to help um, draw yourself a little bit closer, but try to stay nice and long through the spine. When you feel yourself starting to round through the back, that's a good sign to lift a little bit higher, but just pause here, try to reach or lead with the heart. Keeping those hips connected with the floor. Three breaths here. Maybe you drop that chin towards the chest. Bring awareness to just where you might feel a sensation of a stretch in the body. Finding your breath once again, in through the nose and out through the nose. On that next breath in, slowly rolling all the way up, bringing the knees back to center. Make sure you have some space behind you. We're going to roll all the way down onto our back. So you can bring those knees with you if you'd like in towards the body. Maybe bring those hands to the front of those knees. And just for a moment, making a few circles with those knees. And then 
go in the opposite direction with those circles. Just gently rolling out that lower back and the hips. As you bring those knees back to center, slowly guiding those knees over to the left side. Just rolling onto that left hip, left side of the body, this right arm reaching it all the way up overhead until maybe the top of your hand touches the floor. It's okay if it doesn't, you can just hover over the floor. And then very slowly we're going to guide that hand over to the right side. So eventually it's just reaching directly out to the right, maybe even turn the gaze to the right. And then with that left hand, maybe try bringing it to the belly. About five breaths here. Listening for the sound of your breath. And just feeling the body soften and relax into this twist with each breath out. And when you feel ready, engaging that core, draw the knees back up to center. And then guiding those knees over to the opposite side. So over to the right, rolling onto that right hip, allowing the knees to just relax towards or on the floor. This left arm, maybe try reaching it up overhead. And then slowly moving it over to the left side. And if you feel spot along the way that feels a little better on opening through the shoulder, you can always stay and hold there. Otherwise, maybe we turn that gaze to the left as well. Right hand can come to the belly or to the floor. Giving yourself a moment here to just pause and notice. Noticing as you breathe what effects that might have on the body. back to center. Both feet can come to the floor, just allowing that lower back, back to uh, rest and relax here for a moment. And if you have some, a little bit more time, feel free to stay right here for giving yourself about five minutes or so to just pause and to just watch uh, the thoughts that come across the mind to allow yourself to breathe, allow your body to just pause and absorb the twists and the movements that you've just done. But when you feel ready, um, go ahead and make your way back up to a comfortable seat. Again, you can pause the video anywhere there so you can give yourself a few more minutes to uh, just rest and relax using your breath as that anchor to come back to when the mind starts to wander or um, sensations arise. You can always come back to that breath to refocus and to recenter. So after you've found your seat, sitting nice and tall once again, go ahead and finish that next breath out. And then on an inhale, let's take a breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And then just a nice cleansing breath um, in through the nose and out through the mouth. So thank you for joining me as we move through some twists and with our breath. I hope you feel a little better than when you started and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.